Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be building mobs and bringing them to life to have a mob battle. But I'm going to secretly use cheats to troll my friend Toby. So let's find Toby. Hey, Toby. Oh, hey there, Kobe. What are we doing today? Today, we're going to do a mob battle. A mob battle? What type of mob battle? We're going to build mobs and bring them to life. No way. But we should get started. Okay, Kobe, let's start building because we only have 12 minutes. <laughs> okay, see you, Toby. Bye. Uh, okay, see ya. All right, guys. Before we start building, I actually put a cheat right here. If I do this command, I can make this wall made out of glass. And with this glass wall, I can see Toby through it. But he can't ah! see me. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to spawn the best mob. He can't see me, though, because this is one-way glass. But we should get building now. Wait, what's Toby doing? Okay, let's spawn down my first mob. Oh, my gosh. That guy is massive. This guy's weakness is fire, though. So, hopefully, Kobe doesn't and spawn a fire mob. Wait, Toby said his weakness is fire? This is perfect, because I have this fire mob. Oh my gosh, but I've got to build him so we can bring him to life. So let's start building this guy. All right, so while we're building this guy, I have this hack so we can build super fast. So let's start building this guy. He has some massive feet. I mean, he's like the biggest guy I've ever seen. And I think his feet are all gray, if I remember correctly. So let's build his other feet on this side, and let's make them super big. Oh wait, no, that is way too tall. We need to make a bit shorter. All right, let's keep building these feetsies. Come on. And, okay, now we finish this feet. We just gotta connect them and wait. Oh my gosh, it's too big. We need to make it one shorter. But after we do this, we're gonna connect them and then we can start building his body. But inside of his body, there's gonna be loads of lava, so we might as well place some of this where we start. Okay, that's a lot of lava. And let's put some in this other one. And you guys know this guy's a lava monster, so he needs so much lava so he can actually move around and kill Toby's monster. All right, now let's focus on making his body. So let's make his belly kind of big because he's such a big guy uh let's put all these cobblestone blocks and guys comment down below what monster you think we should make fight in the next video and we might even put some rainbow friends but for now let's keep building this monster and boom i think that's a good start for the monster we just gotta make him a lot more taller so let's put some of these walls just really really tall come on boom okay and that is pretty good for the belly let's put some extra details inside of his belly though just stuff like this because you know he's not just completely black and he also has these lava lines so let's build these lava little lines. This wall is going to be the lava for now since we don't want to, you know, burn down the whole creation. But let's keep placing these down all the way to the top. And let's put little, little lines like this, which go throughout his whole body. So let's just keep leaving this. Come on, come on. There we go. And they're going to connect through the whole of his body. Let's see how this looks. Oh my gosh, that looks so epic. Let's just keep building these lines though, because with these lines, it will put lava through his whole body. And that means he can function and shoot lava and kill Toby's monster and all that cool stuff. Come on, we got to place these lines a bit more quicker because we only had 12 minutes to build. Come on. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Okay, that is one side of the lines just about finished. I think there we go. So this side of the lines is basically finished. We just gotta do the other side of this guy's big belly. Okay, let's go to the other side and put loads of lines in a cool little formation. Let's make it symmetrical and symmetrical means it's the same on both sides. Uh, can we even do that? It's kind of tricky but we'll try our best. Come on. All these lines are basically little lava spouts and I just thought we should put some red ones as well because red is basically lava but even even hotter. So let's keep putting this down. And I cannot wait till we finish this building and bring him back to life. All right. Boom, boom, boom. More red, more red, more red. And I just had an idea. What if I put blue? Let's try it out and see what blue looks like on this guy. Um, come on. Let's just put loads of these blue blocks and see how it looks. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Is that okay? Um, I mean, it's all right. I guess we could put some more blue on this side as well because the blue is like water and, you know, opposites attract and you need water in your life to drink and stuff. So we'll put all this blue down. Um, I'm not sure if this guy would drink water though since he's a lava monster but you know who doesn't want some water and make sure you guys drink water every single day because it's really good for you but let's keep placing all this blue down and i think is that enough blue uh let me check uh is that enough blue maybe some more on the bottom over here come on more blue more blue more blue and boom 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 and that should be enough blue on this left side let's put some more blue on this side though and then we'll put some more red on this side as well since we didn't put any red on this side before okay all right now we can just put some final red touches on this come on come on, come on. Come on. Red, red, red. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, uh, more red this way. And after we put all these red lines down, we should get to building his other side of the back. Because, you know, his back, we haven't even built it. Look at this. Okay, boom, boom. And now, I think that's enough red. There we go. That looks super, super, duper cool. So, let's keep building the rest of his body. And for the sides of his belly, we're going to use some of these polished andesite blocks. And let's do this side as well. There we go. And I wonder what Toby's doing. Let's spy on him real quick. Um, oh, my gosh. Look at that. He's cheating as well. Oh, because Toby's going to cheat 
cheat. I'm gonna cheat even more. Let's actually put some obsidian for this guy's back because his back is super strong. And you know the back is the strongest part of the body. But now that we finished his body, we need to put loads of lava inside as well just so we keep him fueled up because this lava is what's gonna bring him to life. So let's place all these lava blocks. Come on, come on, come on. Is that enough lava? Oh my gosh, there's so much lava. Let's get some blocks like this and put lava in the middle as well. So let's put all this lava down. All right, that's a lot of lava now. I think that's probably enough lava. Maybe just one more line of lava over here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. That is definitely enough lava for now. But this just reminded me the left of his body needs some arms. We're gonna give this guy bedrock arms because this guy's super strong. Bedrock is literally the second strongest block in the game. And I think the first one is like cobblestone. I'm not too sure though. But let's keep building this guy's arms. I will build his shoulder as well just like this. So this is gonna be looking super cool. Let's put a little wall going downwards. Here we go. That's his shoulder. And let's connect it to his arm. All right. Is that good? Just one more line of blocks. And there we go. That's his arm. Let's just fill it in. And break all of these extra blocks. And that's his first arm finished. But he needs a hand. I've got the perfect idea for this guy's hand. Let's put loads of extra red claws. These claws will be lava claws when he spawns in. And claws will help this guy win the giant fight against that ender monster. So let's put all these claws down. And wow, they look super duper sharp. I would not want to fight this guy. I mean, look how big he is. But now let's build the second arm on the right side. And let's build this right side out of these lava blocks these blocks all have lava inside which will fuel this guy to kill the other monster so let's build his shoulder like we did on the last side there we go and let's put a wall down like this boom 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 and now let's finally build his arm like this that is perfect let's just put some more walls down like this so we can actually get a big big arm and let's put the floor on the arm there we go now we could just fill in the arm break the extra blocks and wow his arms are looking so cool okay we need to put claws on this arm as well. I want to put some golden claws on this guy because he's super rich and he's basically a king. Like, this guy is the king of all giant mobs. You know this guy's cool when his claws are literally made out of gold. But let's place more of these claws down. And one more for good luck. Boom. That is so cool. But we need to do the back of his arms as well because we didn't fill them in before. So let's do this. And let's do the same for the bedrock arm as well. So quickly, let's fill in this top part of the arm and now the bottom part. And you know what, guys? You know what time it is. We need to put lava inside of this guy again. So let's put the lava down. Come on, come on, come on. We put loads of this stuff. Without this lava, this guy will not be able to move. Come on, lava, lava, lava. And now let's put some more on this side as well. Oh my gosh, there's holes in his arms. Let's fill that up. And oh my gosh, this is looking so cool. Wait, I'm gonna get stuck in the lava. I need to get out of here. Ah! Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of lava. Let's close him up. And now for the next time with the lava crystals, instead of putting lava in his arms, because there's already so much lava in these crystals, let's put acid. This will give this guy some poisonous effects. And with this acid, he can literally blind people, burn them to death, and so much more cool things. And oh my gosh, no, I'm gonna get blinded. There's so much acid. Let's just place more of this down though. Oh my gosh, I can't see. Let's get out of here. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is so much acid. But now that we finish his arms, his body, and his feet, let's build his neck. So let's go this guy a little chain before we build his neck because, you know, every giant king monster needs a cool little chain. So let's put this chain. It's not even that little. It's actually a massive chain. And in the middle of his chain, we're gonna put some TNT. Look at this. That is really cool. Look at that. I would love to have a chain like this. But if anybody touches him, he's gonna blow up and kill them. But now we can build his neck and his head as well. So let's give this guy an emerald neck just like this. And this is gonna be a really strong neck since emeralds are literally the strongest thing in the game. So if anybody tries to choke him or, you know, stab him in his neck, he will not die. He is really that strong. All right, that is really cool. But now we should build his head. Let's give this guy a massive head. Every person needs a big head if they want to be super smart. So there we go. His head is finished. And let's make his head super tall as well because he's really smart. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And I cannot wait to see if this guy beats Toby's monster. And there we go. His head is finally done. But now we need to put some effects on his head. And each of these orange lines is literally lava when he spawns in as a real mob. So we need to put loads of them down because this will literally keep this guy moving. Come on. Lines, lines, lines. And I just realized we need to build his eyes as well. Let's just put more of these lines to begin with. Boom, boom, boom. And now let's build his eyes. And it needs some big eyes. So let's make his eyes super big so we can let you see anybody that he's fighting. All right. Boom, 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 boom. And let's fill this guy's eyes in with this white wool because, you know, eyes are always white. In every single monster in the world, there's always white eyes. So let's keep doing this. Come on, come on. I really love this color. Comment out what your favorite color is down below. I think mine is white, red, or black. And boom. Now his eyes is finished. We need to put a little pupil. And oh my gosh, he looks so scary. Now we got to do the same thing on this side. So let's place all these blocks down. Come on. And this eye is going to be slightly 
slightly bigger than the other one because, you know, it's super funny. And boom. Let's keep placing all these eyes down and comment down below. What part of this video is your favorite? I'm pretty sure I love the building part, but I can't wait to see the fight as well. So let's keep filling this guy's eyes in with white wool. And then after we do this, we'll put the pupil down and we can finish building his head. And I forgot, we also have to fill his head with lava. He's going to be so hot-headed, if you get what I mean. There we go. Now we can put his pupil a bit wonky and oh my gosh, look at his eyes. Well, let's put more of these red lines inside of his head because these will literally give him super strength. Here we go. And that is a lot of red lines now. We can just connect it to his eyes. And we should probably put some red lines in his eyes as well. So let's quickly do that. Oh my gosh, he looks super tired now. I think he needs to have a little nap. When you don't sleep for too long, your eyes literally go red like this. That's why you guys should always go sleep early and, you know, enjoy life. Let's keep putting all this stuff down. Oh, I can't wait to see his eyes when he spawns in. They're going to be so scary. But let's put more of these red stuff down. And let's put some little blue little concretes right here. Just so he gets some more extra strength. Here we go. And now look how scary this guy looks. But we need to give him some ears. So let's give him some ears. Little fiery ears. And little red ones in the middle. And let's put a black hole in his ears as well. All right. That ear looks really good. But what else can we do? Maybe some ears on the other side. Yeah, let's put some ears on the other side. Maybe a bit bigger so he can hear better in his left ear. And uh, some black concrete in the middle. There we go. That ear is beautiful. But now we got to do the back of his head. If anybody hears the back of his head, they'll probably hurt him a lot. So no one can hurt the back of his head. Let's put all these lasers down. These lasers will make it so no one can hit him in the back of the head or they'll burn to death by these lasers. So let's keep putting all these lasers down. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just put a whole line of these lasers. Come on, bang. Wow. And another line up here. And let's put a line right here. Boom. There we go. And finally, let's put some diamond blocks on the back of his head so he's super duper strong. There we go. Let's put loads of them down. Diamonds here, diamonds there, diamonds everywhere. But now let's put a top of his head on because his head is open right now. Let's put diamonds on the top of his head just like this. Finally, we could put some acid down like on this row stuff. And in this head, we're going to put acid, lava, and even water. All right, that's the, oh my gosh, there's so much acid. Now let's put the lava down. Let's come on, lava, lava, lava. This lava is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And now let's put a row of lava again. But this lava is a bit different. So let's put all this lava down. Oh my gosh, it's dropping so fast. But on this side, we're going to put water down. Come on, water, water, water. And all of this is going to give him so much strength. Oh no, are they going to touch? Are they going to touch? Oh my gosh, that was so close. But now in the middle, let's put some acid in the middle of the lava and the water so they don't combine. And wow, I think that is perfect. Oh my gosh, cobblestone everywhere. I love cobblestone. There we go. I think his head is finished now. Let's blocks back on his head. And now let's go find Toby and tell we're finished. But before we show Toby our base, let's click this lever and... Oh my gosh, what's happening? Ah! Oh my gosh, he spawned in. Whoa, he's so big and strong. This guy looks so cool. Okay, let's go show Toby. Hey, Kobe. Hey, Toby. Are you ready? Yeah, my mom is so much cooler than your mom. Okay, let's put down the wall. Boom. Oh my gosh, they're gonna fight. No way, these mobs are so huge. Oh my gosh, look at the fight. Oh my gosh, these people are so dangerous. They're so strong and big. Oh, who's gonna win, mine or yours? Oh my gosh, what are you just doing? He's shooting fire. No. Don't shoot lava. Yeah, shoot all the lava. That's his weakness. Let's go. No, hit him back. What are you doing? You're so bad. My monster's gonna win. Let's go. But Kobe, my monster's a little bit bigger than yours. Ha <laughs> ha. But mine's shooting fire. Can your monster do that? Uh, 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 hopefully. Oh, there's lava everywhere. Wait, what's he doing? Oh my gosh, there's so much lava. Get out of the corner. Ha <laughs> ha, my monster's headbutting yours. <gasps> He's shooting explosions at him. Oh no, your monster's gonna hit mine. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Toby. Wait, wait. <gasps> he, he Toby. Yours out the map. No! <laughs> I Kobe! win. You know what, Kobe? I'm going to kill yours by myself. No, you can't do that. Let's get this bazooka <gasps> and let's start shooting it. No, that's not fair. You're cheating. Let's go. No, he's dying. Oh, my gosh. You killed my favorite monster. Okay, but Kobe, the score is one to zero and you're winning. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the best. But Kobe, now we have to build our second mob. Okay, let's clear up this mess and build our next mob. Okay, I'll see you later. Later. Bye. All right, guys. Before we get to building, though, let's see what mob Toby's going to build. Okay, for this one, I want to put down this giant skeleton. Oh, my God. This skeleton has a bazooka. Well, I know just the counter. I'm going to put this mutant iron golem down. This thing will kill the skeletons with his giant fists. But I need to build this guy really big. I wonder how much time we have. Okay, let me start building my skeleton because I only have six minutes. <gasps> we have six minutes. Okay, we got to do this quick. All right, guys. So, build this iron golem. We're going to need to build some iron iron feet. 
Actually, let's build it a bit further back like this and put some feet down. And these feet are going to be super strong. So let's make them really big. And this golem is literally going to kill that skeleton in one hit. Trust me, guys. I love being great. So I can't wait till I beat Toby. All right, let's put all these blocks down. Here we go. And there we go. His feet are now finished. We just need to make sure his feet are like, you know, super full of iron. And as before, let's put some of this acid down because this acid makes this guy a mutant. And being a mutant means he's 10 times stronger. Let's put the iron in here. Put the acid down as well. Acid, acid, acid. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this acid is literally going to make this guy mutant and super strong. All right, now his feet are done. Let's make his legs a bit taller up. You know, he's got to have some long legs if he wants to hit the massive monsters. And we're going to make this guy literally a giant iron golem. Or should I say giant mutant iron golem? All right, let's keep putting his legs down though. Come on, legs, legs, legs. If you want me to do this even faster, subscribe. I'll work 10 times harder. All right, there we go. Now his legs are finished. Let's actually give his legs some armor. If we put some bedrock on the side of his legs, this will give him some armor because bedrock is invincible. Nothing can hurt bedrock. So all this armor will make him 10 times stronger. Let's go. That is perfect. And now that his legs are done, let's do his body. But first, we got to put more acid inside of him. And this type of acid is different. This acid makes you literally super fast. So our golem is going to be super fast and super big. All right, let's put some more on this side as well. And there we go. That's enough acid. But now let's build his body. But we're not going to use iron. Wait, an iron golem without iron? We're going to use diamonds. So he's still an iron golem. He's just got diamonds inside of him. And trust me, guys, if you have diamonds inside of you, it will make you literally so strong. So let's put all these diamonds down. Come on. And diamonds are literally the strongest ore in Minecraft. I mean, diamonds can literally break anything. And the only thing that can break a diamond is another diamond. So he literally can't be broken. Let's just put a little ceiling on the top of his body. And there we go. His body's outline is done, but we need to play him with some more iron. So he still looks like an iron golem. He just has diamonds inside. Here we go. And of course, we should put some defenses at the outside of him as well. Let's do some bedrock squares like this. And these will literally stop him from being hurt. I mean, these give him like 10 times extra hearts as well. So that is enough bedrock. Let's just put some bedrock on the sides like this as well. Here we go. I would hate to be fighting this guy. He can literally protect every village in Minecraft at the same time. And there we go. Now we put the bedrock armor on side of him. Now inside of him, I've got an idea. Let's put these pumpkin bombs. These pumpkin bombs are literally TNT inside of a pumpkin. So let's put all these TNT pumpkins down and this will make it so if anybody tries hurting him, he will literally explode them. So let's keep placing all these pumpkins down. Let's go. This is going to be so cool. Now let's put pumpkins on the walls. Here we go. There we go. I think that's enough pumpkins. But speaking of pumpkins, if we put some iron golems inside of this guy, it makes him so much stronger. So let's put loads of iron golems like this. Wait, watch this. Watch this. We're going to put so many iron golems at the same time. This will literally make him 10 times stronger and everybody knows iron golems are already super strong. So one, two, three. Hey, move out of the way. Four, five, six, seven. One more and he's going to be literally the strongest iron golem in the world. Oh my God. He's so strong. And just so no thing can kill it, let's put water in here because water makes TNT not hurt you. So he will be hurted by his own TNT. Here we go. Water, water, water. And we all know iron golems can't swim. So this water will help him swim. There we go. That is so good. This is literally perfect. But now I think it's time we build his arms. If you remember, his arms were literally super cool. So let's try and build these cool arms. Let's put some iron like this and make it go down a bit. And his arms got skinnier as they went down. So let's make them really skinny at the bottom. And I'm pretty sure he had a massive like square on his arm. So let's put like a massive square like this. Make it a bit more thicker. There we go. That is looking really good actually. Let's make it a bit more thicker. Just like that. Now we can fill in the arm. Just like this. We're making it slightly a little bit thicker every time. Here we go. And oh my gosh, his arms looks really good. Let's just make it a bit longer at the bottom. Here we go. A bit longer at the bottom. And there we go. His first arm is doing really good, actually. Yeah, I like that. And let's make this arm even bigger. So in this arm, let's make it like all the way out here. And let's make it super thick at the top. It's literally going to be indestructible. That means nothing can break it. All right. Loads of these blocks right here. And so like this. And finally, just two more walls of arms. Here we go. One more. One more. There we go. Now we can make it a bit skinnier, but still really, really thick. So let's do that. Come on. This will be looking so cool in the outside. Watch. I'm going to show you guys. It's going to look so cool. It already looks so cool. Okay. Now we can just make it a bit more um, skinnier at the bottom. Just like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. And at the very bottom, we're going to make a giant ball of bedrock. So this side of his arm is really big compared to that one. But at the bottom, we're going to give him a bedrock fist. This will make his punches like almost the strongest Superman. And we all know Superman is literally the strongest hero in the world. Here we go. Come on. Couple more blocks. And it's gonna look. It's gonna look good. Oh my gosh, that 
That looks perfect. This guy's already super cool. But now let's fill in the arms. Instead of filling it with water, I'm going to fill this all with bedrock. Because this will make it so no one can even hurt him. The inside of this guy is literally bedrock. And we all know nothing in the world can destroy bedrock. Come on, more bedrock, more bedrock, more bedrock. I think that is enough bedrock. So let's go fill in the other arm. Let's just put some blocks up here. There we go. Let's go to the other arm. And in this arm. Oh, we forgot to put the wall right here. Let's put this wall down first. And in this arm, we're going to put lasers all around. This will make it so if anybody even hurts this guy, they'll be hit by lasers. I literally almost die. So let's put all these lasers down. Come on, laser, laser, laser. I love lasers. Comment down below. What's your favorite color laser? Mine's red. So more lasers like this. Oh my gosh, it's already looking super duper cool. More lasers right over here and right over here, okay? Boom, that's enough lasers, I think. Yeah, now his arms are literally inkillable. Is that a word? I don't really know, but it's beautiful. And I just realized inside of his chest, I'm gonna put these dispensers down so they'll shoot fire charges at all the mobs that try to kill him. This will make him literally shoot fire by just walking. So there's three right there. Let's put some in the middle as well. Fill these up. And maybe we put arrows in some of them as well. Uh, this one could be half fire charges and half arrows. And finally, just three more dispensers right over here. I will put fire charges in these ones. Yeah, this guy is literally a fire walking machine. But now let's build the guy's head. All right, let's build this guy's head out of cobblestone. And I'm gonna make it literally so tall. And we're also gonna give this guy a massive brain. So let's build this really big so we can fit the massive brain inside of him. All right. Let's keep a little edges right here so you can go inside of it. Okay, now let's give some eyes on this guy. Let's build a little bit of eyes. Come on. We gotta make sure he has really big eyes so we can see. And because this guy is so evil, we'll give us some red eyes. Oh my gosh. Let's do the same for this side. Some big eyes. And some red in the middle. Oh my god, that is so scary. And let's give him a little mouth where he's smiling because, you know, he's super happy. And that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But now, let's put some bedrock protection on the sides of his head because we don't want anybody hurting his head. This is where his brain is, for goodness sake. But now we can build his brain. Let's build his brain out of this pink coral brain. Alright, this could be so cool. Oh, wait, no, it's turning grey. Oh, it's because we need to put water inside of his head. So let's put water all around. And this will keep his brain nice and pink and nice and cool. So let's break this grey coral. Ew. And now we can place the pink brain. Okay, let's put a little bit of brain like this. And let's put the ceiling on this thing as well so no one can hit the top of his head. And let's put even more water. Okay, now we can build his brain because there's so much water. So let's make his brain super duper big. Just like this. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. More like this and this and this and this. And oh my gosh, his brain's almost done. Is that good? Now his brain is almost done. Okay, and inside of his brain, I'm gonna put loads of bookshelves because these mean you're really smart. Reading books means you're super smart. So all these bookshelves will give this guy enough brain power so he can actually beat anybody in a fight. And don't tell anybody I'm doing this because it's kind of cheating, but I'm gonna put golden apples inside of his head, which are gonna make him basically immortal. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see how this fight goes. Who's gonna win, the giant skeleton or the giant mutant golem? Comment down below. But here we go, more golden apples. And I think that's enough. Let's just put some lava in the bottom of his head so he's always thinking super hot. And wow, this is super cool, but just so he knows who he's gonna kill, we'll put a skeleton right here. And he will forever wanna kill this skeleton. So let's go outside and tell Toby we're finished. But now that we've finished building this guy, let's click this lever right here. And wait, what's happening? Ah! Oh my gosh, he finally spawned in. Look at this guy. He's so strong and cool. But let's go show Toby. Hey there, Kobe. Hey, Toby. Are you ready to fight? Yeah, I'm gonna beat your skeleton monster. Okay, let's put down the wall. Oh and my yes! gosh. Let's fight. Wait, he's shooting at him. This is not fair. No way. Mine's so much bigger than yours and stronger. Oh my god, he's shooting. Why is he running? Stop running. Kill him. Come on, get him. Him, get him! Stop shooting him, please! Come on! I'm gonna hit him too with myself! No, god. that's cheating! Stop! Golem, come on, look at me in the eyes! You got this, dude! Just, just go to him, please! Actually, you don't got this because you're so bad! Uh, <laughs> Golem, take the speed potion! It'll make you faster! Please, just win! Wait! Wait! No, that's cheating! You have you to win! Have to... Please! No! No, you go! You got this! Come on, him, him, him! You know what, Mr. Skeleton? I'll actually give you these strength potions! No. Golem, please hit him! You have no chance if you keep running away. Kobe, your iron golem only has 25% health left. No! And mine still has 90 health. Oh my gosh. Kobe, I think he's about to win. No, he's not gonna win. No way. Come on. No! no way. 
gonna be my skeleton giant one! That's not fair. One, one right now, but there's one round left. Whoever wins that wins the whole thing. And they get the secret mystery chest. Yep, so I guess let's start doing it. Okay, let's go build. Because, Kobe, we only have two minutes to do this. Two minutes? Oh my gosh, we gotta be quick. Okay. But before I start building, I need Spy and Toby to see what he's gonna do. Okay, for this last one, I'm gonna make it the best. I'm gonna put down a dirt monster. Wait, he's gonna build a dirt monster? What the heck? Yay, this guy is totally gonna beat Kobe. You know what? I'm also gonna build a giant cobblestone. It will definitely beat Toby's dirt monster. All right, and we're gonna make this cobblestone literally the biggest piece of cobblestone you've ever seen. So let's make it all super wide, 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 wide. And this is literally gonna be super tall as well. And inside of it, we're gonna put so much things that give it extra strength. And when it turns into a monster, it's gonna be looking so cool. So let's build this super tall. Who cares? Let's make it super duper wide. There we go. We'll put the walls down. And now, let's make the final back wall and the side walls, okay? And it's gonna be super duper tall. Same for this one. Super duper tall as well. And this one as well. Okay, this is perfect. Let's fill the gaps in the walls, all right? Let's fill up all these little gaps. There we go. Now, let's put a ceiling on this massive cobblestone. Come on. Oh, I can see Toby's dirt one. Ew. All right, let's keep placing all these cobblestone. Here we go. Boom. Now, this is looking way better. Okay, this is looking so cool, but let's put some layers in this thing. We're gonna have about three layers, and each one of the layers is gonna have super cool stuff, which makes this cobblestone monster even stronger. In this first layer, I'm gonna put some lava in the corner over here, and this lava will make this monster shoot lava and be super duper strong. Alright, that's probably enough lava for now, but I also want it to shoot acid, so let's get some acid, and let's make this guy shoot acid by putting acid all in this corner as well. This will be so cool. I'm Imagine a lava acid shooting monster made out of cobblestone. All right, so that's probably enough acid and lava for now. He's going to shoot all of this into the other guy's face. That stupid dirt monster. And let's also put some of these cobblestone mines. These are explosive, so if you step on them, they explode. Only if the dirt monster steps on them. So if you put loads of them down here, even if the dirt monster kills this guy, he's going to explode and kill him as well. And finally, I want this guy to also shoot water because shooting water, it might sound super boring, but if you can shoot water, you can literally drown people. And if you drown, that is literally the worst way to die. I would not want to drown. But in the middle of this thing, I'm going to place down these cobblestone turrets. These things literally shoot cobblestone at stuff. So imagine this giant monster shooting cobblestone at the dirt monster. Wow, that would be so cool. So I definitely think we're going to win this fight. But this is only the first layer. Let's put some stuff in the other layers. So let's go to this layer up here. In this layer, I'm going to put loads of these Spartan zombies. These things are literally super strong and have weapons. That means my cobblestone monster will also be super strong and have loads of weapons. And I also am going to put some of these iron ore blocks because iron super strong and iron is literally like one of the coolest blocks in the game. But we also should put some of these bedrock spikes. Look at these bedrock spikes. They literally mean anything which kills this guy will step on him and literally die of these bedrock spikes. I mean, look, if I put one of these zombies on the bedrock spikes, they literally die in two hits. So imagine like a bunch of these all on top of this thing. Oh my God. But now let's build the final layer, which is the roof. I want to put even more bedrock spikes on this roof. So let's put loads of them down. That's good. I also want to put a bunch of lava spikes. A bunch of diamond spikes. Maybe some gold ones. And some iron ones. Oh, look at Toby's stupid monster of TNT. Ew. But them spikes look so cool. But now I want to put some TNT on top of here as well. There we go. Now this is literally one of the strongest cobblestones in the world. But we should put some armor on the outside of this thing. Let's put some netherite blocks down. These are literally the strongest blocks in the game and are really good for making armor. That's why netherite armor is the best in the world. So we're going to give this guy all this netherite and this would be so much netherite in survival. Oh my gosh, I would not want to do that. Okay, let's put double layered netherite on this side, maybe triple. And for this final wall, I'm going to make the whole thing netherite. Oh my gosh. Let's make a double. Actually, triple. Maybe even quadruple. Oh my god. There we go. That's a lot of netherite. Now it's like a netherite cobblestone monster. But water makes everything more more secure, so let's put loads of water down and wait. What is Toby doing? He's spawning in some crazy things. Alright, that's enough water for now, but now I think we're almost finished with this monster. Let's just give him a sword. Let's build a diamond sword out of diamonds like this. Oh my gosh, he's gonna look so strong. And now he actually has a weapon to fight against the cobblestone monster. I think we're finished now, so let's go talk to Toby. But first, let's click this level and oh my gosh, what's happening? And oh my gosh, he looks so good. This cobblestone monster will definitely beat Toby. 
Toby. Let's go say hi to Toby. Hey there, Kobe. Hey, Toby. Are you ready for the final fight? I'm ready to be your stupid dirt monster. Okay, Kobe. Remember, whoever wins this gets the secret mystery prize. I'm gonna get it. Okay, Kobe. Let's put down the walls. Subscribe. <gasps> Wait. Oh my gosh, are they gonna fight? <gasps> oh my gosh, Kobe. Wait, what happened? My guy transformed into an ultra dirt monster. He has one eye that is so weird. Well, I'm still gonna win, so let's fight. Oh my gosh, they're fighting. No way. And Kobe, guess what? What? I have two of them. <gasps> what? What the heck? He multiplied. But Kobe, who's gonna win? Me or you? Oh my god, my guy's exploding because I put TNT inside of him. And oh my gosh, mine's picking yours up. No way. This is no fair. Oh my gosh, throw him off the edge. Throw him off the edge. Come on, push him off the edge, please. You know what? I'm gonna take you this. I'll point TNT to kill your monster. Wait, no, no. Take this, you stupid monkey. <laughs> no. I'm gonna give you dirt to heal you. Hey, that's not fair. I'm gonna give mine cobblestone to heal him. <gasps> Wait, oh, no. Kobe, yours fell off the map. Well, guess what? What? I'm gonna break the floor so it's a draw. Come on, yes. Wait, no, Kobe, you're cheating. Ah, it looks like it's a draw. Oh, my gosh. The score is two to two. <laughs> well, guys, comment down below. Who do you think should have won? I think I should have won. No, it shouldn't be me. Kobe, now let's see what was inside the mystery chest. Okay. Open, open, three, two, one. It's the final of the day. No way! All right, guys. If you want to watch Toby's point of view, click this video right now. Subscribe! Yay!